John, was the EU beneficial to farming in Ireland? Yes, the EU has been beneficial to, uh, to, to uh, farming. Uh, up until the coming of the EU, we were dependent almost ex exclusively on the English mar British market. And uh, cattle, for instance, were, ex uh, were exported from Westport Quay here from in the past and from various places to Scotland and to England from Finnish and over there. They were slaughtered there. The offal was all available to them. Uh, that's, we were really exporting jobs and, and, and wealth when we exported live cattle. And uh, the same thing applied to all the other agricultural products who were most dependent on the British market. When the, we joined the European Union, we got access to Germany and France and Italy, and there was a uh, guaranteed fixed prices for certain products. Then there came direct fair and subsidies, we call refer to it jokously as the check in the post, uh, headage premiums, disadvantaged areas premiums, and uh, uh, various guaranteed prices for milk and such products and this of course was all financed from Europe and it, uh, uh, the, that is still coming these checks for, from, from the European Union and it has, it has a major uh, contribution to Irish uh, rural Ireland especially and of course it's spin off to trade in general. Could West of Ireland farming survive without it? No. Not in its present, not, n not the present type of farming, no. I, I don't think it could. Certainly the livestock indoor would be have difficulty. And uh, that would apply to sh sheep and, and, and cattle. And why is that? Because our prices are, are pegged to the Euro European price and when, when um, uh, uh, there are guaranteed for it and uh, there's intervention rates and there's different things, schemes like that, uh, there's also, that's from, at, from the factory's point of view. But there's also a direct payment to the uh, farmer in the west of Ireland is the disadvantaged area payment, which really is a reward for living and operating in disadvantaged areas. So you wouldn't like to see Ireland pull out of the euro now? The farmer wouldn't like to see I Ireland? Don't think, no, I don't think it would be in the farmer's interest that Ireland would just pull out of the euro. No, I don't think so. You hard to survive outside it? I don't think, I think we are to know dependent on the European market rather than the British market for food.